Warning! This podcast contains themes of extreme violence and murder. Subject matter may be offensive to some listeners. Discretion advised. Welcome to another episode of Evil Transgression, your homicide headquarters here in podcasting. I'm Josh, and with me as always, or most of the time, Dustin, and always Rex. Hello. Hey, I, felt like, I felt like you needed a special introduction this morning. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I didn't know which one was me. Was it, hey, what's up? Or hey, how's it going? Do you have that he, because you because we you're on an episode with us every six months. <laughs> you forget. We're just gonna go with the standard. Hello, there you go. Good day. Just, just remember that. <laughs> Good day, mate. Good day. <laughs> Pop of the morning to you. <laughs> oh man, what it be? Yeah, what it be? I wish I was. Mm. I wish I was a jive like seventies. You got the sunglasses, <laughs> dude. Like you're wearing sunglasses. Yeah. Why inside. are you? Yeah. Why is that? Um, cause they were on the top of my head and I can't wear my headphones with them on. <laughs> was you, was you doing too much of booze on last night? The, the lights hurting your eyes? No, I'm good. No? Okay. Good. That's good. Oh, he took them off just to just prove to his prove point. point. Put yeah. them back on. We don't want to see your face. I want to look deep into his eyes. Keep them off. Yeah. See the bags under my eyes? <laughs> oh, no. I don't get enough rest. <laughs> they make that one ointment that you can put under. Yeah. Preparation H. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Let me know how it works for you. Yeah, I, I, you, you know, know what? I just get real tight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobby Mom. <laughs> like a Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the greatest. Those like, guys crack me up. <laughs> podcast episodes uh-huh. ever. Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. Yeah. Like, don't talk about my mother. <laughs> Since you're a cross eyed mother. <laughs> I'm you, Bobby Mom. <laughs> Do you see that video I sent you guys the other day where he. He hit the the dog. <laughs> Look, he's like, he, Bobby Lee told him he was like, "I'm tired of you always uh, making fun of Korean people by doing Korean accents, Chinese <laughs> accents, and Korean accents." And he turned around and banged the dog. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite ones though is when he uh, Bobby asked him, "Have you ever um, accidentally licked a butthole?" He's like, what? he's like. Let me tell you, no, I haven't. No, never. <laughs> let me, let me tell you ones. something. No, <laughs> <laughs> don't knock until you try it. <laughs> mm. So, how's everything going with everybody? Pretty good. Um, I'm out, but you know, with, with the new job, I'm actually out driving around a lot more now, and on my feet. And uh, that's why I'm installing a dash cam because people around here are insane. Like, dude, that took a crazy ass turn, didn't it? Well, that's the whole reason for the dash cam. <laughs> I'll get off work at you know five five thirty, and I'm driving home, and there's people flying past me doing eighty five, ninety. Yeah, mm. we even on two seventy. Yeah, yeah, I hate that dash cam. Yes, then you can like post your. Dash cam videos on the internet. Mm-hmm. I want to make a YouTube channel. Yeah. The life of Rex. Because there's people <laughs> like me that watch stuff like that for uh-huh. no reason. I'll turn it on. What's the one? It's like, it's like stupid drivers or something. And it's like just dash cam videos. Where like oh, people yeah. Are getting in an accident yep. or somebody yep. cuts somebody off. Well, I've, I've got the front and the rear one mounted on the windows. I just got to run the wire. Uh, I got to go down to the fuse box, figure out which fuses I'm going to tap into. And I can't, uh, for the rear, I can't just run the wire up along the headliner, uh, you know, behind the the pillars, because there's side airbags right there. So I'm going to have to run the freaking thing down. Yeah, but you don't need those. Oh, yeah, they're not important. (laughs) Totally thought that was a joke about the cameras. No. (laughs) Didn't know you had actually started this. Yeah, It did did, did go from zero to 100 (laughs) real quick. He was like, yeah. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna get a, a 
Bath can. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, so I've already ran the wires. And I was like, well, damn, plus, you went and got that real quick. Plus, you know, uh, Stacy drives my car sometimes, so I just want to make sure she's driving safely <laughs> when I'm not around. I've seen your, uh, seen your new family mobile out there. Yeah. I like it. Thanks. I like it. Well, I was going to get a car. and uh, Should have got a sh- van. Oh, no way. You're a van guy. No, I'm not even close to a van guy. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. We've owned uh, cars, we've owned SUVs, Mm -hmm. we've owned vans for our young kids. Mm -hmm. Actually, to this day, the van's the way to go, man. You may look like a soccer mom, (laughs) (laughs) and you're definitely not cool driving it, but man, is it nice. Especially like if you're going on vacation with people, you're going Mm -hmm. for a long trip, and your kids have a separated seat. Yeah. It's that would be nice. It's amazing. Well, you know, switching jobs, I had to get rid of the Malibu. And she had been asking for an SUV for months. And I said, well, if we get one, we're getting a smaller one. I don't want one that gets, you know, 18 miles to a gallon. <laughs> so um, that's the route we went with. And she said it would just help, you know, get the baby, you know, out of the car easier. And yeah. it's it's easier for her right now, too. So... Because that Malibu sits <laughs> that low. That was going to go to a, to a dark place. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. It's easier for her to get in and out of the vehicle right now, too, because her big swollen ass ankles. <laughs> Good times. Did, Dude, you get, did you get beat up for last episode where... She, she did say something. She didn't beat me about up, the, though. About the popsicles. I said, yeah, I got to share my popsicles with my dogs because I open them up and they all come. They think that my popsicles, their popsicle. He's like, Stacy's the same way. <laughs> She's like, that wasn't even true. I was like, I know. <laughs> That's good stuff. Dude, my mom has a Malibu and I'll try to, I'll like have to move it for her. Uh-huh. And to get out, I have to do the rocking. Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> it sits low, or yes. yes, yes, and this like I'm top heavy, so like <laughs> yeah. get these little legs planted and then try to lift up your whole upper body. That's, that's because why. your tight ass pants push all your blood <laughs> yeah. up your torso. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> that's why I drive a truck where I just have to hop down. Mm-hmm. A lot easier. Mm. Yeah, yeah, much easier. Dude, when I when I had the Mazda. The Mazda three, Ooh. <laughs> you like sitting on the ground in that thing. It's hard oh to get yeah, out of. dude, getting in and out is tough. <laughs> getting in, you're always smacking your head. <laughs> Could I even fit in that? <sighs> Probably not. I don't know. You might have, because you had headroom. Because you were sitting literally on the floor of the car. <laughs> yeah. Be looking goofy. Uh, my favorite was back in the Toyota West days when they would sell a Toyota Spider. I had to actually take the 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 top down just to drive it up front because my I mean I was seriously about four inches taller than the car when I was sitting. Yeah, it was terrible. Midgets were all buying. (laughs) (laughs) They're little people. Midgets, dwarfs. They're little people. I just love how people nowadays they just take a word. Oh, I'm offended now. Let's cancel it. Like chill out. It's a freaking word. I'm offended by the word Polak. Because I'm Polish. freaking Polak. You are a Polak. And yeah, there's a are. road up in Delaware called Polak Road. Is it full of them? It's Polak. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's Pollock. Huh. <laughs> it's not Polak. It's Pollock Road. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's spelled like it. Sure it is. <laughs> so if you know me, you know I'm not a big fan of attention being drawn to myself oh, when yeah. I'm in public. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I like That's to- why you wear those short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. He's I, got short shorts. I, I'm, I'm like, you know, socially awkward in groups of people. Like, oh, I yeah. just want to sit back and watch, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, there's so, nothing in the world better than people watching. Yeah. Yeah, voyeurism. So we, go out- <laughs> 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 we go out last night. And they had already had this plan. There's like 20 of them, right? And I don't, I know a couple of them. I don't know them all. Yeah. And I'm, I'm walking in and, uh, I told Chelsea, I said, go ahead. You know, these are your friends. Go ahead of me. And, uh, she walks in and they see me and they start going crazy. They're like, wow, it's drawing all this attention to me. Mm. And I'm like, motherfucker. Like, your I want to, get I want, red. yeah, I want to leave. I'm like, I'm getting hot. I just want to leave. Sweating. So then we go, they uh, have a bowling thing in there, right? And uh, we go back there, and they're all playing, and I'm just sitting back. 
they're like, Hey, they need a six person on this lane uh, to do it. And I'm like, whatever, I'll do it. So I get up there and I roll the ball and do they fucking lose their mind in there again and start fucking <laughs> cheering and going crazy. I'm like, like, I just want to leave. Like that was planned. Like they planned all that shit. They're like, Oh, like, we can only play if we have one more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they had, they had had this group text to fuck with me the whole time. That's awesome. I'm like, why me? <laughs> That's too like, easy to answer. God, right? I hate being, I hate being that guy. Mm. I just want to sit back and uh, sit on the teeter totter mm-hmm. <laughs> by yourself. Yeah. Yes, just all the way down on the ground like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Though. You don't see enough teeter totters anymore. They got no, that ball. You don't see any. Really? Yeah. They took him out of the the playgrounds at the schools and put him in the bars. Because we we grew up with them, and the, I mean, <laughs> teeter totters are, are awesome. Yeah, all all that stuff that used to be at schools they've taken away. Yeah, because well, yeah, they want these now, kids to be soft. Oh, now majorly soft. Sensor sensory learning things like the plastic drums. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Stand on the other side, and I'm gonna yell in this cone, and you can hear me. <sighs> This Back con- in the day, we was like, "Hey, let's get on this tilt a world." And see, oh yeah, <laughs> see who's the last one standing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had swings where people would keep going until they would actually completely yeah go around. Remember yeah. the uh, remember the tire <clears throat> swing? Remember the, oh yeah, the single tire swing that would sit there. Yep. I watched yep. a kid in fifth grade. He was hanging on to it while it was going around and hit his leg on the pole and snapped his leg in half. <laughs> oh. I'm like, that's amazing. That's brutal. Remember, yeah. we used to play smear the. Can't say it now. Oh, it's just a banned. word. They they use it too. Well, they call <laughs> they call it something different now. Do they? Yeah. Mm, what is it called now? What is it? <laughs> I still call it smear the queer. I don't know. <laughs> that's oh, what it geez. was, and it was just a it was just a word. Like that's what I'm saying. Remember playing that at, <clears throat> at school? Oh yeah, that was fun. Yep. You could be going in all grass stained up. Oh, for sure. Sweaty, smelling like ass. Playing dodgeball. You yeah. can't do that now. Somebody might get hurt. <laughs> get right in the fucking face. Yeah, you can still hear that sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> going right off your face. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's great. Uh, the good old days. Keep away. They call it keep away. What? Doesn't even make sense. Roll the troll. Roll the troll. <laughs> also, they can they can say stuff about trolls, right? But, hmm. Right. Mm. Wow. It's called tackle the friend. <laughs> Man, I, when I was uh, when I was in elementary school, we had this uh, this one big tall slide, but it was like an old school slide, not like this plastic crap now. Metal. It was freaking metal. Oh yeah, the whole That's slide was. Had. It was one of those ones like. When it was a hot day out, uh-huh. uh huh. You would like bake, would, bake would, your ass. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Like uh, bacon. Yep, yep. But even the steps were metal on it. Yes, right? and it was real tall. Mm-hmm. And, and at recess, you uh, it was like a line going up the ladder to go down the slide. I may have been third grade, fourth, third, third uh-huh. or fourth grade, maybe, and. We were at recess and I was going up that slide and slipped Ooh. going up up the ladder. Yep. It hit my face on the uh mm. on one of them steps. Uh-huh. My teeth was all crooked. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I grew got, out of it or something, or maybe I lost I, that tooth later. But, yeah. See, I've I've got something similar. I was in kindergarten and instead of, you know, when you're sitting on the slide, it was real tall too. Instead of sitting down, I had like my legs kind of tucked up, so my Sneakers and my butt were both on the slide as it was going down. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I was trying to impress my girlfriend and keep in mind, <laughs> kindergarten. Well, <laughs> impress my girlfriend. <laughs> so my freaking shoes got caught on the slide yes. like halfway down and I actually flipped off and went face first <laughs> into the mulch. He got up with mulch all over his face. Oh, it was bad, man. Like the whole side of my face was all scraped up. Ooh. <laughs> and she was like, You're so tough. <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's a tough man. Didn't you and your friends, Doug? Justin, you used to play a game called Tackle and Spackle. <laughs> Spackle. <laughs> no, but um, when I was in like second grade, I had this crazy chick that sat in the seat with me because uh-huh. I like assigned our seats on the bus, and uh, she pulled out scissors and she cut me with them. What? Yeah, that's well, where I still have the scar right here. 
Dang. She cut me with a pair of scissors. What did you do to her? Yeah. I didn't do nothing. You had to do something for her. I did nothing. She cut Cut me. She just was like, snip. (laughs) (laughs) They caught my hand. I'm like, what the fuck? That is crazy. I did have that happen. We had a, um, man, I don't know if I should say this, but we had a, (laughs) we had a girl at our school and uh, elementary school that was like a brute of a, of a female. (laughs) (laughs) So she was a big old gal. Yeah. And her name was, uh, I think it was like I wouldn't even Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Chandra. And, uh, <laughs> and she looked how she sounded, like Chandra. And uh, like she had a birthmark on her, on her face. Like she was just a. Uh, <laughs> wasn't she? Yeah, I remember her now. She was definitely in middle school, too. Yeah. But in the yeah. elementary school, like. The thing at recess, and we're, nowadays, man, we probably go to hell for it. She's probably a Patreon. You're talking about yeah. her. <laughs> but, hey, it's the truth, man. We're getting canceled. They uh, at recess, like, and and I wasn't a big part of it because number one, I was scared of her. Um, <laughs> but the thing was, they would make fun of Chandra and. And she would chase them like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the game. <laughs> Man. <laughs> like, oh, here comes Chandra. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, this is kind of off topic, but we had to go to. Well, I mean, so, is it off topic though? Because really, what topic are we on right now? We're doing a true, we're doing a true crime podcast, and, and just we probably about lost stuff. everybody so far. Yeah. Well, Stacy going into nesting mode. She's got all these ideas of things she wants to do around the house. The one is uh, the handrail for the stairs, taking that off, sanding it down, and uh, re. I, she's going to stain it. So we had to go to Lowe's yesterday off South High, and you know how wonderful that Lowe's is. <laughs> yeah. So we were in self checkout. I accidentally scanned something twice. So the the employee that works that area had to come over. Dude, the moment that she came over to us, I could taste her bo. <laughs> <laughs> like I, Stacy was about to throw up. That's how bad it was. And she came over like three times. Did she have a birthmark? No, she face? didn't. No, no <laughs> yeah, birthmark. I was gonna say I know her. Did well, I'm like chase you out of the store. <laughs> uh, we chased ourselves out. <laughs> Oh, that was brutal. I'm like, you know, it's like her deodorant scent was B.O. And then she sprayed herself with with B.O. B.O. perfume. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, they're pheromones. (laughs) They're not going to attract any man. Well, what made it (laughs) what made it worse is when she had to come over. I'm on the right. Stacy's on the left. And she actually like put her arm out and told Stacy, move out of my way. (laughs) <laughs> so then just all like that a, all that mm. scent from under her arms kind of when know, she fr- when she brought her arm yes. back all the oh, wind off yeah the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it reminds me of Dustin's feet when he takes them off oh, of his yes, work boots that's right. I would rather smell those than what I smelled yesterday <laughs> oh, that's bad yeah it is I, I do have one thing I'd like to talk about before we get into some like actual true crime oh okay oh okay so you guys will be able to enjoy this. It'll, it'll it'll take us on a topic. But so we went to Amish country over the weekend. Ooh. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm looking you were, at You it. were those people, though. What? Like on your phones and stuff. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm not fucking Amish. And they were all looking at you like, you stupid, <laughs> <laughs> stupid people. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, they use our roads. They don't pay taxes. Yeah. And you know, we go. Do they not pay they taxes? They do not pay taxes. Are you sure? Go look it up. And we uh we go we go down there and buy all their shit. So they're collecting all this money. Uh. You know? I'm like, why? Why are we coming here? Why do we want to see people live like it's you know, sixteen twelve? Yeah, but and like their bitten their main thing's like cheese barn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They like, come ride in our buggy. Like, dude, I have you have two horses. I got 200 under the hood of my car. <laughs> like, I don't need, like, you know, cool. Mm, I don't know. Dude, I, I've actually seen TikTok videos where in some Amish communities, they're allowed to have some technology. I do put a subwoofer in his. <laughs> Had a radio and everything. Was bumping down the road. <clears throat> have you seen the video uh, of the dude that's 
in the the buggy, the Amish guy that's passed out from drinking drinking beer. Is that no. the police? Yeah, the police yeah. are trying to stop yeah. the buggy, and the guy's like passed out, and the horse is like going nuts. <laughs> and and they're he's, like, like cops run, are laughing about yeah, it. Yeah, he runs past <laughs> him. He's like, he's drunk out. He's drunk off his ass. I seen a Bud Light uh, <laughs> can in the floor. <laughs> Bud Light. <laughs> Dude, Bud Light, but Anheuser Busch, yeah. they're, they're saying has lost five billion dollars yeah. already mm. over their decision to put can, a transgender to. on on a can. Which I, blows my mind that, and I knew when it came out, I was like, "That's going to be a bad idea." Yeah, it's going to be a bad idea. It would be just equally as bad if they came out like, "This beer is for straight people only." <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Then everybody'd be like, "No, I'm not association mm-hmm. associating with that. That's crazy." Well, the thing is, that's that that guy they picked is a 30 year old man that. Suddenly. Dresses up and acts like yes. a preteen. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, it's they're creepy. like they said that he's like hasn't been a transgender for very long either. Like, <laughs> he started like last week. <laughs> yeah, and they already stuck him on a, a Bud Light can. Dude, it's just like uh, people have their panties in a wad because Super Mario, that new movie, isn't woke enough for him. Like, how do you? It's just a normal, uh, just the way movies used to be, especially you know. But how, like how do you make Super Mario woke? You know what I mean? They're, they're mad. That's that a 1985 video. Right. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's mad that there's, I guess, no gay characters and so on. Oh, goodness. Yeah. You got a dude named Luigi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's borderline. <laughs> He's borderline. <laughs> uh, good old Louie. Uh, I'm going to lay these pipes. <laughs> this isn't woke enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but dude, I seen the uh, Amish dude. <laughs> he he like he he put his turn signal on because he's got turn signals. I was <laughs> nice. He, he was going left. I was going right. He went left, and uh-huh. I seen his foot was hanging out. This fool had on Nikes. What? I'm like an Amish dude with Nikes. Wow. Like, huh? Then we seen the ones that like the real Amish dudes, like the fucking curls uh-huh. on the sides of their hair. Yep. Yep. And, uh, yep. He was in the Red Wing store. Interesting. Boots. Dang. Yeah. But he, what didn't add up was he had this fire engine red beard uh-huh. and jet black hair. I'm like, this mother effort dyes his hair. He, yeah. Yeah. Like, he yeah. had to have. I mean, I, I've seen where people's, uh, the hair on their head is a little bit different than their beard, but that not like that. Right. It was like jet black. Huh. And he had the curls. I was like, dude, those are sweet. Like, how'd you do that? Uh, yeah. And my buddy Josh was like, you probably heated up some sticks. <laughs> like, yeah. Dude, we did this buggy ride, okay? And, like, there's this Amish kid. He was the one, you know, driving the buggy. Uh-huh. And uh, we got to this final stretch, and the dude, like, kicks it in gear. So we're moving. And Josh looks back, and he's like, well, we turned on the AC. <laughs> dude, I fucking lost it. <laughs> I'm like... Oh God! All this Amish talk. Now I want to go to the Dur Dutchman and get a bunch of donuts. Mm. I was just there on Friday. Were you? Yeah. Oh man, Dur Dutchman's delicious. It is. Yes. It's really good. Mm. They have delicious roast beef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I get. I just get a whole plate of beef. You nice. get the buffet, so you can get all, oh, yeah. all you can eat. And roast <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Beef. Put it on mashed potatoes and <sighs> go get go get me a salad. I don't even like salad, mm-hmm. but I eat their salad. <laughs> <laughs> they just grow it so much better. <laughs> That's natural grown lettuce. <laughs> That's that organic. <laughs> oh, it's man. like going to the grocery store and they have organic section. Now. Right. Yep. And that blows my mind because it's so much more expensive than the mm. processed crap we eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's healthier, so it's more expensive. Yeah. You wonder why America is the way that it is. People out of shape, you know, overweight, <laughs> because it's all the junk. <laughs> Dude, like, I was watching um, this woman. She's, she's a mom. She had some type of PhD with uh, neuroscience, and uh, her kid, I think he was seven, eight, started having all kinds of problems, depression and acting out in school and come to find out it's the dyes that they put in the in the food like red what is it red 40 yeah. yellow five yeah. those dyes uh were affecting them she got him away from all that stuff completely changed 
Yeah, my uh, my sister, her youngest, he uh, they won't let him have like red juice or red mm-hmm. popsicles or red anything. Red dye forty. Yeah, because he goes fucking crazy. And See, it's like it's, hyper. Yeah, yeah, they're killing us with the food we eat. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, there's there's there there's reasons why certain shits banned overseas. Oh, like, exactly, and those those are banned over in the UK, and I yeah. forget where else. So. Yeah. You, to me, I really think that's why there's so much autism now, mm-hmm. uh, ADHD. It, it's to me, it's all the food. You didn't hear about that stuff growing up. No, I I, I didn't know anybody. No, that had that. I mean, I don't know if they didn't. You know, if they maybe diagnosed it differently, or you know, back then, I don't know. Now they just want to pump kids full of drugs. So, yeah. Mm. What you looking up, Josh? Um. Well, I was just. Looking at the uh, updates and the Idaho murders. Oh yeah, and uh, how's that looking? There's not a whole lot coming out about the actual uh, Brian Koberger case, uh-huh. but there is a story that broke uh, two days ago where they found another student dead on campus. What on the Washington State campus? Wow, where he's from. They're <clears throat> they haven't released a whole lot of details on it though, but they're saying it's a possible suicide. Oh, okay. But my mind goes, what if maybe Koberger didn't do it, and there's still a killer loose in Washington mm, State? Wouldn't possibly. that be insane? It would be. I don't know. They found the what was it? The debit card or some kind of card in his car of one of those victims? <laughs> maybe. That's I what know. I read. Hmm. Yeah. I, about that I, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's guilty. <laughs> oh, but I can't sure. wait till all the details come out. Like when that case starts up, mm-hmm. I'll be glued to court TV. <laughs> yes, they're doing the uh, doomsday <clears throat> couple now. Oh, uh, Lori, Lori Vallow, yeah, and hmm. Chad Daybale. Yeah, my name's Chad Daybale, <laughs> dude. I've I heard about them years ago. I used to listen to a podcast, and they would talk about them. When they ever got arrested and shit. When those kids went missing. They should have been arrested yeah. before any of this happened. Yeah. Though. But, I mean, you you got to be an evil son of a bitch mm-hmm. to let somebody murder your kids. Yeah. And oh, bury yeah. them out in the, in the right. field. Like, have they ever found them? Yeah. They did find them? Yeah. They found them buried on the property. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, all she wanted was money and weenie. Like that's what they said her whole life revolved. Oh yeah, yeah. Weenie money, <laughs> weenie money. But bro, I, <laughs> had, like, <clears throat> I can't remember whether it was Netflix or something. That one of them had, I think it was Netflix, had the like the documentary of of the case. Uh huh. And there's a scene in it where they have body cam footage of the cops showing up when the the biological father, um calls him because mm-hmm. he's like she's trying to keep the kids from me and blah 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 yeah and she's going off the rails and like you really feel what this dude's going through mm-hmm. like uh you can he, he knows something bad's about to happen like uh you know he's trying to get his kids out of that situation right and there's not a whole lot the cops can do i mean that's where the law gets you right yeah it's where the law the law the law gets you they're like she's or she's their mom. You ain't nothing but a sperm donor. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But uh, man, and then the tragedy is this dude ends up dead not too long after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the situation of that is insane too. Like he goes to the house, and her brother ends up killing him. They're like, mm-hmm. they got into an argument. I heard a bang, so I got in my car and went and got McDonald's McFrappes and took the kids <laughs> to school. <laughs> like McFrappe. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. I've been uh, following that uh, Philip Adams, that football player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They killed those six. Mm, crazy, man. People. Yeah. They, uh, they said his brain was like so damaged with CTE. That's nonsense. I don't know. That's just what they I, said. That's mm. nonsense, dude. I mean, I'm sure hitting your head, you know, your brain's not designed to be fucking hit that much. Yeah. Yeah. Over but here's over. the thing. Football's a lot safer than it was. It is. 50 years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. And you didn't see those guys, like, going out and killing 15 people. Like, <laughs> right. It's because I got a bunch of hits to the brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
But yeah, his uh his family is suing what's the school? I'll tell you what the school is. Okay, tell us. They are suing uh The one school. The one school. Yeah. Mm. His family? His family is suing uh <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold on. Huh. Hold on. That's coming. Uh, South Carolina State. South Carolina State. Mm. Because they didn't they said he had multiple concussions at South Carolina State and they didn't take care of it. Huh. They didn't address it properly. How do you address it? I don't know. I mean what do you do with the concussion? I don't know. Never have I mean my son, um, my youngest son has had three already and he's oh, wow. a freshman in high school. Hmm. So if he's going to murder us, mm. I kind of need to know that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I think though he plays it up. Like I don't think he really has had three concussions. But his coach, Troy Speakman, uh-huh. who uh, is not the brightest light bulb in the pack, <laughs> he uh, the last concussion he had, he got mad at Kane because, and, and the trainer's the one that pulled Kane out of, out to you know. Put him in protocol. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you don't ever go to the trainer and tell him you got a concussion. Kane was like, uh, I didn't. He came to me. He was <laughs> like, so you just tell him if he thinks you got a concussion, you you tell him, come talk to me. What? You don't have a concussion. I've had plenty of concussions. I'm like, you probably have. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way you act, I'm sure. Uh. You you are the poster <laughs> child for CT. <laughs> but yeah, like, it took like the ball of his hand and everything. Like Kane wasn't getting any carries towards the end of the year, uh-huh. and he was their leading rusher. And damn, jeez! I was like, "How are you really going to punish him for getting injured?" I mean, yeah. it doesn't make sense. You, you don't ever go to the trainer and tell him you like uh, <laughs> what an idiot. He's not his coach no more, is he? Nah, that's good. Nah, but. That school's in trouble, man. They just suck. All sports, they just suck. No. Yeah. That's amazing. Like, what is going on in Southwestern schools districts? Is it Heights? It's every, no, Ken goes to the Central. Oh, okay. But it's every South, I mean, they all <laughs> suck. They suck mm-hmm. in sports. Look now, at Grove, the City, kids. Grove City's coming back. Right. They, you know, they've got a good baseball team now. Mm-hmm. Their football team's turning around finally. I mean, they've sucked for years, and they used to be powerhouses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, back when we went. And now they were, dude, they went like four years in a row where they had like three wins if they were lucky. Mm. It's like, that's weird. Yeah. But I, I think that all the good athletes no longer live in, in, in that area. Uh, probably. It's like watching the Special Olympics anytime these kids compete. <laughs> And then they play teams like Upper Arlington. They come in, they're like, oh, easy win, guys. Easy <laughs> win. And they got like a bunch of preppy kids, a yeah. bunch of uh-huh. rich kids. And it's like the softball games. I want to watch some of the softball. It's like they're playing a different sport. Huh. <laughs> like you're in high school, you ought to be able to throw a strike. Right. Nah. It's like watching, nah. it's like watching uh, uh, seven-year-olds try and pitch. <laughs> like over their heads and like, like what is what is in the water in Grove City oh man I don't know maybe maybe it's just me so what you said you got some executions we have some recent ones yeah we did oh yeah such as uh, such as you asked me too fast no I forget his name well I'm kind of curious about these executions and then I want you to to talk a little bit about those Gang affiliated hats. Oh, yeah. I think that's a pretty cool subject. Yes. It is. It is pretty cool. Man, you are like so prepared. Yeah. So they executed the ninja killer. The ninja killer. The ninja killer. Ninja mm. killer. Did he kill ninjas? <laughs> no, because they wouldn't have executed them then. Ninjas are bad. <laughs> no, nah, that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Because technically, uh, Weren't weren't the Ninja Turtles considered ninjas? Yes, and they were. Good and they guys. were. Very uh, and I good. guess the three ninjas. I, three I ninjas just picture. Back. I, I picture uh, 
Vanilla Ice. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. go ninja. Dude, I, I watched that movie so many times. <laughs> but mm. no, they call him the Ninja Killer because you know how like ninjas are like real silent. Stealth. Like that. They're stealthy. like stealthy. Yeah. What he would do is he would shoot them from the outside of the house and then break into their house. That would be a sniper. They should have called him the sniper killer. Right. But wasn't that uh, the Because I've never seen a ninja with a a firearm. (laughs) uh, Me neither. Maybe if he threw like a scythe through the window and got him before he went in. Or Mm -hmm. a a ninja star. (laughs) Ninja star. (laughs) (laughs) He, uh... I wonder if you could be killed by a ninja star. I'm sure you could. He could have... I don't know. Maybe he was more like a samurai, like Tom Cruise. Could have been. You know, the last samurai. But he he was convicted. Does that make Tom Cruise no longer the last samurai? Oh, that's true. <laughs> he was convicted of killing uh, two people in 1990. Hmm. He shot them from outside the house and then broke in and shot them again with a twenty two. He shot wow. him with a twenty two from the outside and then yep. came in and shot him again with a twenty two. So... Pretty much he got them like, you know, to where they couldn't, he, de, what's the word I'm looking for? Disabled. Disabled them. Uh-huh. And then broke in, stole their shit, shot them again and left. Mm. So two people and they gave him the death penalty? Yeah. Put him down. They did. Lethal injection. They did. And you know what? I'm loving, uh, I'm hoping that uh, Ron DeSantis can get that bill passed in Florida. Which one? With the uh, child predator. Oh yeah. Death the pedos. I love it. Death penalty. If you get mm-hmm. charged with yep. a sex crime against a child, yep. you're eligible for the death penalty. That should be the case anyway. It should. It should. It should. But you got these woke ass people. <laughs> no, it's a disability. Again. No, the fuck it's not. Yeah. Just like the flag that they've come out with for that crap. Yeah. There's a flag for, yes, for maps. Pedos. Yes. Maps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a map. I'm a map. Hey, Dude, this- it's it's ridiculous. Look, you'll have to look it up. I give it I give it five years. Max, and they will have rights. Pedophile I mean, they have, have rights, rights now. They'll, they'll have Everyone has. If you're in the United States, that's what I, dude. That chaps my ass to no end mm. when I hear somebody say, "We don't have rights." As blah blah blah. <laughs> right. You live in the United States. Mm-hmm. You have more rights than any other country in the world. Right, but they will. Yeah. They will be. They will be a protected group. Because that's like, their, like the rhinos, yeah, that's their mental, that's their mental disability is being mm-hmm. attracted to. So tell me this, this, how is being sexually attracted to a child, a, a, a what did you call it just now? A um, disability, disability, is that what you said? a yeah. mental disability, but. A man thinking they're a woman or a woman thinking they're a man is not a mental disability. Right. It was until it's, a few years ago. It's it's this. It's it's if you think that you're three other people, they're gonna take you to the doctor. They're gonna put you on medicine because you're a crazy motherfucker. Oh, one hundred. Yeah. They go and act like a woman. A man goes and acts like a woman, or vice versa, and they're applauded for it. So you're applauding mental health yeah. problems. What I mean, but my thing is, what just ha- What happened to just being gay? Like they can't. You gotta, I don't you gotta, understand you gotta, it. You got to take it to the next level. That's yeah, how know. they are. You know, mm-hmm. and God forbid you say anything against it. it. What I think it is, honestly, is a lot. A lot of like these younger people that are like doing this stuff uh-huh. are doing it for like the attention of it. Yes, like it's the cool thing yeah, to do it's now. The new fad. Yep. Because I mean, go back to like twenty years ago. Yeah. And that's not that, I like to say it's not that long because I don't like to feel like I'm old. But <laughs> Me too. If somebody did that 20 years ago, we were all like, what's wrong with this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But now they're like, that's so courageous. <laughs> You're so brave. I mean, uh, there were gay people at Heights and nobody treated them bad. No. Right. I mean, I'm not going to say that. Gay people haven't had a, a rough way to go. I mean, I'm sure. But there's all kinds of groups that have. Right, right. But what's what what happened to just just being just be gay? Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure we'd all be okay with that. Like, hey, Dustin's gay. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, all right. I mean, 
it's no big deal to me. Right. I hope he finds yeah. a, a beautiful man to <laughs> satisfy his needs. The <laughs> thing is, it can't be it can't be just do what you do and let life go on. Yeah. It's they have to be celebrated for every step on every step along the way. It's just like with women, like you, they have to always say she's the first woman to ever do it. Like you want equal rights, then just don't talk about it. Like cool. You're the first woman, cool. We get it. But you don't have to just bring that up. The first woman, the first gay person, the first this. Like, no one cares. Uh, I have to disagree a little bit there. No. Yeah. That's you. Uh, but the thing is, is like with women, it is like an accomplishment with the, on, some, on some things. Which like, now they're getting screwed because of all this. <laughs> right. I mean, right. Bruce Jenner did win Woman of the Year. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> is that yeah. not insane? It is. That's insanity. It is. The the first year, yeah, the first year he came out like, I'm a woman now. They was like, woman of the year. And there's like <laughs> legit women who like did courageous shit when that happened. Yeah. Like, dude, you, uh, like women that really accomplished stuff. Yeah. I think there was like a, a bronze star lady that was like yeah. up for woman of the year and stuff like that. And, and they gave it to this dude who decided to start dressing like a woman. Yeah. They're like that is that is true heroism, just like that beauty pageant. Like what? Mm-hmm. Did you guys know about that, right? No. Uh, which beauty pageant was it? Um, but it it was a dude in a dress. He won the beauty pageant. But that's. I mean, I don't know, man. And what's crazy to me is you have women out there supporting it. Like, yes. He's but, he's yeah. he's or she and she now is is an amazing person. Yeah, it's like the girl that should have won. Um, was it the Olympics or what was it? She was the a national swimmer? championship, uh, the NCAA national championship. Yeah, that's what it was. And that uh, what's his name? Well, her name now, like Leah Thompson. Yeah, the, there you go. Ended up um, winning the the the. The NCAA national championship for swimming. Well, and they're like, "Yeah, way to go!" And she's like, "I was competing against a, a guy. Yeah. I mean, he had a package. Yes, he had a wiener still. Yeah, <laughs> and um, Riley Gaines. I, I saw. Yeah, I saw an oh, interview. Oh. She was in an interview, and I, if I remember correctly, they actually tied. And they went up to her and said, "Well, really, we're going to have to go ahead and give it to." Him, her, whatever, um, instead of, you know, who but, actually deserved it. So I just wonder, though, like, you know, there there are, I don't want to say all females are, like, for this. Like, yeah, let him compete, because there's a lot that are saying. They're really getting aggravated. This is, this is yeah. not fair. Yeah. But there are athletes out there that are like, it should be allowed. Like, for one, uh, who was the chick from the U.S. national team, soccer team? What's her name? Megan Meg- Rapinoe. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. stupid. She just came yes. out the other day like, we need to allow transgenders to play this sport and blah, blah, blah. She's and I'm an thinking, idiot. you're saying that now because you're, you're retired. You're not yeah. competing. Right. But how would you feel if like 20 dudes showed up the day of tryouts and they're like, we have to let them in because they think they're women now. Oh, yeah. Right. And then you don't get a spot because naturally they're bigger, faster, stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's like that Riley Gaines. That's what she said. She said, you got nothing to lose. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. about done. Like, I have a lot to lose. Right. Yeah. Which is true. And now they're fucking being mean to her and like, you know. See, it's ridiculous. Like going after her. Yep. I'm sick of it. I don't know. I don't want to get too political, but yeah. we already did. We're going to. we're gonna. Oh, yeah. We're this gonna, whole episode. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to switch gears to uh, the hats. Oh yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. Get back to gang yeah. violence. Get back to like yeah. true crime yeah. that we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this has so, been a this has been a uh, a potpourri episode of yes. all kinds of stuff. So yes, in L A, if you find yourself in L A. and you're just walking down the street, uh-huh. there are certain hats you want to avoid. Yeah, what, what kind I'll, of hats? I'll give you a rundown. Of so few. you're saying in L A. In L A. Okay, so naturally L A. I think gangs. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yes. Okay. So you want to steer okay. clear of the LA Dodgers hat. Oh yeah, that's that's a staple. 
That's a staple. <laughs> yes. You also want to steer clear. Well, of what, the, who who would wear the LA Dodgers? The LA Dodgers hats would. Um, huh. uh, yeah, I don't know. But the Houston Astros. Yes. Hat. You want to stay clear of that one too. I would steer clear of it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Especially if I lived in LA. <laughs> right. But that would be your uh, Hoover gang. Huh. Hoover gang. Yes. Because the H. That's yeah. so creative. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Phillies. The Phillies ball cap. You want to stay away from that one too. The old Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah. And you know. Mike Schmidt didn't. This, uh, this mm. one kind of hurts my feelings. You can't wear a Cincinnati Reds hat. I wouldn't either. Uh, Cincinnati <laughs> Reds are good. <laughs> That's a joke, right? Like, you, joke, you know, they're sure. absolutely horrendous right now. Not as bad as the Cleveland Indians. Yes. Uh, yes, they're way worse. Oh, I'm sorry. The Cleveland Indians don't exist anymore. Yeah, they do. No, That's what I still call them. <laughs> they're still the Cleveland Indians, man. I'm so yeah. sick of that, too. Well, the original Browns of Baltimore are better We're than We're not talking ones. about. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> uh, Kansas City Royals. Yes. No Kansas City Royals hats. No Yankees hats. No, uh, Anaheim Angels hats. So no. basically, any baseball team, you're not allowed. Yeah, to wear. a lot of them. I mean, you could like no, uh, no Pirates, uh, St. Louis, San Francisco, the A's. Who would the Pirates Duke, be? The Texans, the Pirates. Yeah, they're like the Pirates gang. The Pirates mm, are the Primera, Primera Flats. Ooh, Primera Flats. Yeah, mm. but like you can't even wear a San Francisco hat in. In L.A., I wouldn't do that either because they'd be like, "Ooh, the Giants." They got yeah, uh, they got the Boston Celtics, the Seattle Mariners. Man, the uh, so basically you can't wear a sports hat. No, like unless Michigan, you want to get shot. Michigan's one of them. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, that's North Carolina, <laughs> the, Michigan. The that Marlins, gang's the bums. Yes, the Marlins, the Minnesota Twins, the Milwaukee Brewers, the Chicago Bulls. Mm. Like a lot of them, uh, Georgia Georgetown Hoyas, the Hoyas. Huh. What really is a Hoya? Uh, it looks like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black <laughs> bulldog. It's a bulldog, man. It's a gray bulldog. Huh. Hoya. I like a Hoya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobby Mom. I'm, I'm Bobby Mom. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. What is a Hoya? A Hoya, a climbing or sprawling evergreen shrub. What? So where the hell does the bulldog come in? Ah. Uh. Uh, hmm. So they're the bushes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the George H. W. Bush. Go Bush. <laughs> oh man, that guy's an idiot too. <laughs> Stan uh, Bush. How about the bushes? <laughs> Sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> the Bush. No, it uh, <laughs> it says here. Uh, Many years ago, when all Georgetown students were required to study Greek and Latin, the university's teams. Or nicknamed the Stone Walls. It is suggested that a student using Greek and Latin terms started the cheer Hoya Saxa, which translated into What Rocks? Huh. The name proved popular and the term Hoya was adopted. That's Still cool. doesn't explain where the bulldog comes No, it from. doesn't. I don't know. Why are you guys the Cleveland uh, freaking uh, Bengals owners? Yeah, the Browns. You guys are named after our owner. Uh, he was our own. He was our guy first. Yeah, he never owned you. Yeah, that's right. He coached your team. Yeah, to some championships. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He also coached the Buckeyes. He was also probably one of the greatest coaches of all time ever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. And why do you guys have an elf and a dog? We don't know. <laughs> we really don't. Know. Cleveland elves. We don't know. No, those are brownies. Those are mythical creatures. You guys mm. made them up. You Cleveland fans are weird. You better back off my city. <laughs> All I got to say is, who day? Um, do you want me to make a list? I mean, we were in the Super Bowl. Yeah. How'd that go for you? Yeah, we still went. You've never been. Super Bowls are overrated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Well, so the, the main takeaway is to not wear a sports hat yes. in LA. Okay. Yes. Or you will be murdered. Yes. I never plan on going back out there anyway. I would never go there in the first Not the place. way things are now. Traffic is insane. In oh, LA. yeah. Insane. Got on the freeway doing like nine miles an hour for, <laughs> yeah. for two hours. Oh, yeah. Like a 15-mile trip. It might take you two hours. Yeah, it does. No, it does. No. Nope. 
On the 405. 405. <laughs> Trying to think of the last time I went out there. Maybe 2014. Yeah. It's been a while. Wow. Yeah. That year I went to, went out to uh, L.A. a couple times, went out to Boston, went to Rhode Island. Boston. It was a bunch of stuff for training. You was out there in Boston? Boston. Boston. Yeah. It's wicked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bostons love the word wicked for some reason. Yes, they do. But it is wicked cool. Boston has the most fucked up roads, too. They do. You've never been to L.A.? Um, Boston has the dumbest roads ever. Mm. When I was there in October, it was fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never go again. I want to go to Maine. Then go. I do. I want to go to Maine, and I want to go out to the the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> the harbor. Yeah, cut some crab, <laughs> some Maine lobster. <laughs> I don't know why Maine lobster. <laughs> uh, suddenly, I'm English. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, that's the terrible accents we do on this show. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's why we're award-winning podcasts. Mm-hmm. We are. So no really true crime today, but no. Well, there was a little, <laughs> little, little sprinkle yeah. in. But I love a good sprinkle. We wanted to go back to this and catch up and yeah, have a good time. So we're rounding the home stretch. Yeah. Let's go ahead and send it out, Rex. What you got for me? All right. If you haven't done so, go to our Facebook page. Give us a like. Any comments, questions, or ideas, you can email us at eviltransgression at gmail.com. Leave us some reviews on Apple. Yeah, <laughs> you Bobby Lee? <laughs> I'm Bobby Mom. Yeah, leave us some reviews on Apple because I tell you guys that all the time for the past three years and none of you do it. Well, so. all 12 of our listeners have. <laughs> We're yeah. just going through the motions. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, so, yeah, leave, to us, do. leave us some reviews. Let us know. How good we're doing, how bad we're doing. Well, we're, today was bad. No, today was great. It was. What do you got? I got a sore back. <laughs> mm. I've got a sciatic nerve that bothers me. Uh-oh. You got your static Every nerve? Night. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <What's that>? <laughs> your <laughs> static nerve. Man, I lay down and not my static nerve. <laughs> <laughs> I love when people mispronounce words. Yes. Like, one, one of my pet peeves, though, is, uh, like, a lot of them's funny to me. Like, People at my work, instead of saying specific, yeah, yeah, Pacific. you got to be Pacific about it. <laughs> like, yeah. Specific. What if I want to be Atlantic? About it? <laughs> but one that really drives me nuts is when somebody mispronounce or uh, I guess you would say mispronounces or just is stupid enough to not know that it's actually a library. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, you go to the library. And, yeah. <laughs> like, what are you get at the library? <laughs> they have fruit. <laughs> Is there librarians at the library? <laughs> I don't know. The, but li- library really, really is one of my pet peeves. So if you ever want to really piss me off, be like, I was at the library the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Can't, uh, I heard a, uh, an argument the other day about the word kindergarten. Mm-hmm. And it was really a dumb argument because they were like, it's German. It's actually a German word. It was like kindergarten. I was like, it's technically kindergarten. Kindergarten. Mm. But I mean, everybody calls it kindergarten. Yeah. Garden. Garden. I mean, kindergarten. Maybe it's just because we're from Ohio and we might be hillbillies. I don't know. Well, like, do you ever play Euchre? Yeah. Yeah. Bowers, yes, that's. But what what a lot of people up here say bars. Yes, bars. You got the left and right bar. No, it's Bower. <laughs> Man, when I was in living Louisiana and we were playing euchre, uh, one of the guys I was playing with said Bower, and I started laughing at him. Like, what the hell's that? <laughs> Bower. So yeah, you got the left Bower. Freaking Ohio. It does sound better oh, in bars though. It's a little bit easier. To- I like to lay down some bars. Yeah. So we, in the next episode, let's just, it'll be Freestyle. a musical. I say next episode, you guys play your song. We'll just, it'll be a musical. That'll be, we, just the intro is your guys' song. And we'll talk about it. Sweet. Man, I haven't heard that in so long. <laughs> mm. All right. All right, Evil Mob. Until next time. See ya. See ya. Peace.